Hello all, welcome to part 40 of Cucumber BDD training series. In this session, I am going to explain and practically demonstrate how to organize hooks in Cucumber projects. So let's get started. Till the previous sessions, we have put the hooks methods into the respective step definition files or Java files, right? So you can provide anywhere. Okay, if your project consists of multiple step definition Java files, in any of the Java files, you can go and write or create the hook methods. Okay, at the rate before, at the rate after, annotated hook methods you can create, or at the rate before step, at the rate after step, hook methods you can create, or multiple at the rate before, at the rate after, hook methods you can create in any of the step definition Java files. Okay, but is it recommended? Yeah, it's okay if you remember that in so and so uh, step definition file you are writing, that's okay if you remember that. But as per the industry standards and all, like uh, the real time, how the people actually, where actually the people put the hook methods into, okay? They don't put into the respective or individual uh, uh, Java files. Rather, they put that into another separate Java file that I'm going to cover in this session, guys. And also, we need to update the runner class for doing that, okay? So let me. Uh, quickly switch to this uh, Eclipse ID so that I can explain you and practically demonstrate how to properly or organize the hooks into the in the Cucumber projects. Okay, so let me switch to the Eclipse ID here like this. And instead of uh, going into any of the step definitions, either login or register or such as for this uh, project that I have created so far, instead of going into this and creating that hook methods, I have removed guys. Okay, in one of the previous sessions, I have removed the hook methods. Here we don't have any at the rate before and at the rate after anywhere inside this uh, step definition files. Okay, you see, nowhere it is there. Earlier we have put under such register kind of things, okay? We have removed them. For now we have removed them. So what I'm going to do now is, here guys, instead of putting them into the respective or uh, in any of the uh, step, definitional, uh, step definition, uh, definition files, okay? Step definition Java files, instead of putting into them, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a separate package. I'll just name this package as, you can just name it anything guys. I'll say hook simply, okay? And here I'll right click and say new class. I'll create a class known as, uh, you can give any name guys, okay? I'll just, I generally prefer to give my hooks, uh, my, I mean, my hooks I'll, I'll prefer to give, okay? My hooks. You can give any name, no problem, okay? Any package name, any name you can give, okay? So like this you create and click on finish guys. This uh, my hooks class will be created. In that I'll create a method. Generally we'll create a before and after uh, annotated hook methods for setup and tear down methods, right? I'll first create a setup method and uh, I'll annotate this with uh, at the rate before. Okay, at the rate before I'll annotate with, I'll import this at the rate before from iocucumber.java. Okay, here I'll write system.out.println and I'll double quote and say double greater than symbol. Here I'll write uh, opening, I'll say launching the browser, okay? Launching the browser or something. I'll write something guys here, okay? Then setup, I'll say launching the browser, okay? And maximizing it. Launching the browser and maximizing. Otherwise, I'll write the browser got launched. Browser got launched and maximized. Uh, then we can still write some more stuff like another print statement I'll write if required. Okay. Uh, application URL got opened. Application URL got opened in the browser. Okay. In the browser. Like this kind of setup steps I'm going to write in the uh, at the rate before hooks method that I'm providing the my hooks. Okay. It's a common place, guys. I don't have to provide this hooks method now in the step definition files anymore because I'm moving it in a proper place. Okay. So we can now understand where this uh, before and after uh, hook methods are available. Okay. You can convert this into tag hooks, whatever you want, you can do guys, no problem. Okay. You can come to this myhooks.java and create as many number of before hooks, after hooks, whatever I covered in the previous sessions related hooks, right? Somewhere here, uh, you see hooks, staggered hooks, before step, after steps, hooks, multiple hooks and their order, hooks and value attribute, all this knowledge you should remember guys. Okay. So that you can understand what I'm trying to cover in this session. Okay. So here I'll write one more method public wide tier down I'll say okay public wide tier down I'll say and I'll write at the rate after guys at the rate after I'll import this at the rate after from iocohumber.java and here I'll write system.out.println 
I'll say browser got closed. Okay, browser got closed. Uh, we can also write one more step here if required, or we can separate this into multiple before methods. Okay, I'm right only writing one hook method here. You can have multiple before methods, and in one method we can say browser got launched and maximized. Another before method uh, we can say application URL got opened in the browser. We can say, or we can put a single method and you can print it out. That's okay for now. Only one one I'll take and not make it complex. Okay, so uh, logged out from the application, logged out from the application. And finally, applicate browser got closed. Okay, these are what are the after hook steps. So save all. Okay, let's see whether this will be working fine or not. So to make this hooks applicable for this uh, step definitions and all, uh, for this hook methods to run before and every uh, after every scenario of this uh, feature files, what we have to do is we have to do small changes to the runner class. Open the test runner, and here what you have to do is in the glue we only provided the step definitions here, okay? Along with that, just provide this, uh, what you can say, some curly brace you provide here, guys, curly brace here for this uh, attribute. For the value, provide this particular single value in the curly brace. Since we have to provide multiple values, just provide curly brace and put a comma and say, again, double quotes here, provide the name of the package under which my hooks.java is available. There is hooks package. Simply provide hooks, guys. You don't have to do much. Like we have provided a step definition package here, we are providing the hooks package. That's it, nothing much. Okay, feature files are already there here under SRC test resources, complete path is there. Okay, all tags. That means all the scenarios in all the feature files will run because of it, there it all and the pretty and all those things you already know. Okay, now the changes are here. Okay, comma hooks are the changes. And here in my hooks, we provided uh, this edit the red before, edit the red after, and linked it to the runner. Now, this before and after hooks methods will be running for each and every scenario of this feature file, guys. Okay. So right click uh, run as, we'll see that, okay? Uh, if you want to give a different uh, symbol, otherwise just to identify that, you can say plus plus here, okay? Just give plus plus guys, so that you can understand. Uh, greater than, greater than are coming from the step definition implemented methods, right? Step definition files implemented methods, right? So let's give uh, here plus plus and here minus minus I'll give so that you can identify after hooks also. Before hooks will contain plus plus, after hooks will contain. If, if, they, if they got invoked means, uh, this minus minus symbols along with this text will be printed in the output console. Just to make uh, a difference, I am writing these different symbols here. Otherwise, there's no need. And for the other other implemented methods uh, step in the step definition files, for the steps, we have double greater than symbol. So you can understand uh, which print statements are printing from where you can understand now. And I'll simply close all this stuff and uh, run this uh, runner class using the JUnit test. Using JUnit, I'm running, guys. You will see that what's happening. Uh, the main thing is output, guys. Output, you see, for every scenario, before every scenario, before hook methods will be running. You see, plus, 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 plus. Browser got launched and maximized. Application URL got opened in the browser. And then user got navigated to the login page. User has entered valid and all the stuff. Finally, logged out from the application. Browser got closed. Same thing will happen for the next scenario. The next scenario, you see, the next scenario, plus, plus, minus, minus, plus, plus, minus, minus. Every scenario till the last case, till the end. Even though you, you see the last scenario also, you see plus plus and minus minus. This is all about the hooks, guys. So this is a perfect place for putting the hooks in your projects, okay? So whenever you have to provide hooks, you just provide the hooks in this, uh, okay? Uh, hooks package or whatever the package separately. You just separate it, guys, okay? So it looks good. Don't don't make the hooks part of this uh, step definitions, okay? So that's all, guys. Uh, so hope, guys, you understood how to organize the hooks in a Cucumber project. So that's all for this session. See you in the next session. Thank you. Bye.